Hey guys, it's me Liz. Hi to all my pumpkin pie lovers, my favorite squirrels, and the people who have showered today. It is a holiday week in the United States, and I don't know, some of you might be taking it easy this week, some of you might be busy. I have a fun video for you. I have been talking for months, I've been planning for months about my six hour sale. If you know me, I do not offer a lot of things on sale and I'm really have been working so hard to have this six hour sale for Black Friday. So we wanted to talk to you through the new releases that you're going to see. And because it's a six hour sale, there's gonna be some things that are gonna be a little bit different. And if, <laughs> If this is too much talking for you, you can scrub ahead and you can just get a screenshot of exactly what I'm gonna show. But the sale is short and sweet. So just a heads up that there is going to be limited stock, but I am going to increase my quantities. Just a heads up that a lot of the things uh, there is, I'm going to say that basically will not be making a return. <laughs> um, if they make a return, it will honestly be something that I do next Black Friday in 2025. So when I say these are limited time deals, limited time offerings, I truly, truly mean that. The other thing that I'm doing, I think you know that my business model has always been to make everything ahead of time and get it out next business day. Um, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now, so I am just going to have processing time at two weeks just to ensure that I can recover and get myself back to square one normally. International orders are going to close on December 5th. That is so I can get everything out to you in time for the new year because I don't trust the mail service because of the Canada Post strike. I am going to hold all Canadian orders unless you send me a message and you say that specifically, please put them in the mail and I'll let the, I'll wait until Canada Post goes through this. Everything is going to be available through lizandless.com, not through my Etsy store. So I feel like we should get into it and let me talk you through what I'm going to have available this year. First thing that's gonna be available is my three sticker books and they are going to be priced at $80 for the three books. And if you can see here, they're regularly priced $108, which is 26% savings. Just a heads up, it will be the base stickers for these, not the repositional removable stickers. And for this book here, it is just going to say the custom sticker. There's not going to be a custom sticker option. It is just going to say making Christmas memories. But again, you can get these three books at member prices. You cannot purchase them individually. They come as a bundle. The next thing is what I call my origins kit. These are sticker saving challenges that either I personally love or I personally loathe. These will not make another appearance. Maybe they'll make a one day appearance in December, but realistically, these will not make an appearance until next Black Friday. This is so embarrassing. It was my very first savings challenge. It's called Hide the Sausage. This next one is honestly probably one of my favorite savings challenges. It's called Indoorsy. It is no longer sold. This next one, I know some of you have seen this before. This is in honor of one of my earliest and favorite members. Her name is Sharla, so hi Sharla. And her daughter, Aurora, loves red cat mushrooms. The next one is Holy Crap. Again, can you see where my brain was two years ago? Um, this was in honor of Katie of the house. Her son made a joke about Jesus having holy poop. And then the last one is honestly, I think this was the savings challenge that really inspired my trajectory in the sticker savings challenge world and it is Nigel Nuts. This is in honor. This all came about because of Ange with Ange Budget and Debt. If you know this story, she once said that squirrels are a-holes and I said, I'm gonna make a savings challenge that's embracing squirrels because I love squirrels. So this I'm calling the Origins Bundle and it is going to be $25. That was originally priced, I would have originally priced it about $30. So that is 17% savings. This next item is the, it's not in my budget right now, and this is actually a magnet. If you purchase over pre-tax $45, this will be added to your order. 
theoretically there should be a pop-up on the store that says would you like to add this to your cart for free if it doesn't I will be adding it for you again $45 minimum pre-tax and otherwise this is available for purchase $4 after the sale I'll be selling this for $6 so it's 33% savings for the next two are pins and I already have packaged these for shipment so this is the it's not in my budget right now pin and this one is the consistency not perfection pin in case you like to love and represent your budgeting gear these are going to be priced at five dollars they're going to be regularly priced six dollars so that means that they're both 17 percent off this next thing is a personal favorite of mine. It is the daily five, just to be able to have that consistency, not perfection mindset. Five things to do every day. These are legit real post-its because I do not like cheap post-its that fall apart. And it is a pack of 50. I will be selling these for $6, regularly $7. So there's gonna be 14% off these. I didn't even know if you could see that because I feel like it was focused in on here. But again, daily five post-its are gonna be $6, but regularly price seven dollars after the sale i feel like this sticker does not <laughs> this sticker the beautiful oh my gosh it's just so pretty it's the it's not in my budget right now this is a sticker that you can put on your water tumbler um, because it is water repellent it's not something that i would run through a dishwasher but you can hand wash this sticker on sale it's going to be four dollars after the sale it's going to be five dollars which means it is 20 percent off this next one is the consistency not perfection bumper sticker I wouldn't personally not put this on a car because I would be afraid it would actually peel off the car paint. You do you though. The thing is that I have tested this in my home and I've put it on a plastic folder and then peeled it off after a month and there was no residue left on the back. This is going to be on the sale price is $5. It will be regularly priced $6. So this is going to be available for 17% off. I think this would be beautiful to have in your office as a reminder of what you need to do every single day to achieve your goals. This next is the hologram. This is the joke sticker about one of my customers at the store. It is a holographic. I just want someone to love me for me and not my money. Honestly, this camera, <laughs> it's holographic. It is going to be priced $4 on sale, regularly priced $5, which means it's 20% off. The thing that I am most proud of to launch is what I'm calling sticklets. And it is actually a set of what you could theoretically use as mini sticker savings challenges, but honestly, you could use them for your regular savings too. Every amount you designate, you decide. So this is for low income, high income, whatever you want. And I cannot wait to show you through like what I've already created. Ideally, these would come in single packets well they will come in single packets wrapped up like this because it's super cute it's super low profile if you don't have much room in your house or you can also get them flat um, if you purchase them in bulk for the whole year i will take you through but he just i want to talk you through some of these features this january here every sticklet kit has these removable stickers so you can apply these to your savings journals you can put them on the front of your envelopes and you can customize them i really worked so hard to make these so easy and affordable for everyone so honestly as you save you designate the amount that you want per sticker and peel and stick so that is going to be the first sticker in every sticklet kit the second sticker is going to have a different sticker theme and it's going to be heads or tails again you designate your own amount and again you can peel off this january and you can keep it wherever you want the third one is going to be countdown where you designate the amount one through ten dollars the whole reason for this one is because I want to give a nod to the people who have coins for currency and maybe they only want to save in increments of five or if it's just you and you're like oh I've got this extra two dollars and I want to save it somewhere you can do any amount and so this is going to be what I consider one sticklet kit and each kit is going to have these exact three savings challenges but let me take you through some of the different variations that I've created to help you save. These sticklet kits are going to be priced at $8, but regularly priced $10. The first of every month, I am going to have next month's sticklet kit available. So this is going to be the one for January, which is presently available now, and you can get it on sale. But February will be available on January 1st. In addition to that, I have additional themes and every icon is different. So we have lovey-dovey, we have 
around the world. And I feel very much like you can use your own interpretation for what you want to save. Busy Bee, maybe you want to use this for school supplies. There's a great little notepad and paper in this one. We have Rain or Shine, which I think is like rainy day funds or a saving for maybe an activity that you want to do. We have Snuggle Up, which this might be my favorite out of this entire kit. We have Filler Up. Full disclosure, I looked up a list of the top 10 things that people need to save for. I actually have a list of 25. And that was the first 10 of these is what I based this list on. So Filler Up, so maybe you're saving for a car repair, a new car, car insurance, that would be this kit. The next one is called Let's Cook. So maybe you want to do a pantry restock. Maybe you want to use this because you want to up Update some items in your kitchen. I love this one. It is called In the Family. So there's a little icon with a train on it. And it's just perfect for you if you have a little one or maybe you're expecting a little one in your family. This next one, obviously, so self-explanatory, sweet home, anything to do with the home. Maybe it's new furniture savings, down payment savings. You're trying to get a month ahead in your rent or your mortgage. And then the next one is so crucial. It is called Paging Dr. Beat and a nod to the Gloria Estefan song with this. Um, and so anything medical, maybe you want to do a first aid prep kit. Maybe you're saving for your healthcare deductible. The last sticker on this is actually an apple because it's a nod to an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So these are the individual sticklet kits that I presently have available. I will be adding more every single month. If you have suggestions for what you'd like to see in a sticklet kit, please let me know. But again, because of the sale, the single packets, again, are gonna be priced at $8, but after the sale, they will be $10 each. Let me talk you through this special thing that I have with sticklets for a year round bundle. So if you wanted to go the route and just buy these month by month, it would honestly, it would be about $120 month by month through the year. But because I do have these bulk packages, I'm gonna talk you through the two different options. I have the bulk package where you can get the whole year. They're not individually wrapped. And there is 36 sticker savings challenges in here, three for each month. The exact same contents here are in this, but in case you wanna give yourself a little bit of a gift, each sticklet kit is wrapped. So there's 12 different packages in here. I will tell you the only way to get this little sticklet sticker is by purchasing one of the annual bundles. So this, the bulk one, this is what I'm calling the bulk because they're not individually wrapped, is going to be priced at $60 for the sale, but it is gonna be regularly priced at $75. So it's going to be 20% savings during the sale. These individually wrapped ones, if you wanted to purchase it and and give yourself that little gift every month is going to be five dollars extra and it's just for the time and the supplies that it takes to bundle them all together it will be regularly priced 18 80 dollars after the sale which is 19 percent off i'll be posting all of this on instagram but in case you wanted to get a screenshot right now you can do that the other thing i will have is 12 deals of budgetness december 1st through the 12th so if you want to follow me on instagram the day before i will be announcing what that that next day's sale is. Again, everything will be available at lizandless.com. It will not be available through Etsy. And there's a couple of reasons why I'm doing that, but basically I have more maneuverability with offering the sales through my Shopify store than I do through Etsy. And I can truly set up one day sales. So 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I will tell you items will sell out and some of them, again, will not be restocked. So if you want to partake, but again, I'm gonna say this, if you do not have room in your budget, you do not need any of these things. I have tried to make things as affordable and low cost with high quality as possible. But if it's not in your budget, and if you haven't saved for it, please don't shop from my store. Please save your money, work on your budget, because I always feel like that is the most important thing to give yourself success for 2025. Speaking of budgeting and having money, I did not do a weekly cash stuffing last week, and so I need to catch up. Time has gotten the best of me. 
I have amazing news. If you didn't know, I have been offered a job. I will be returning to the workforce. I'm so excited about it. It is an entry level position doing a customer service um, at a place about 20 minutes away from me. So I'm really excited about that. And that's probably why I'm trying to get this Etsy stuff and have that processing time. I because I want to be able to gear myself back up for returning to the workforce and also make sure I get all of these orders out in the mail. Um, it is the, I feel really good about this job. I have had such an awful, awful, ugh, I have had such a weird experience just lately at my barista job. I've been made to feel pretty uncomfortable by some of the comments with the customers. Um, on Sunday, I picked up a shift and I did not want to work Sunday, but I was helping out a coworker and I was sworn at. I had a customer in the drive through window who was very upset that her drink that she said was iced was not in fact iced by the 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. I saved $10 extra. Oh, I know someone had a comment last week. I'm just gonna keep this in here and I'm just gonna consider this a bonus $10 payment to my car fund. I'm really excited that I get to make this extra payment. The other thing that I haven't done is uh, because I'm not feeling the best, I have decided that we are gonna use this Christmas money um, to go, this Thanksgiving money to actually go to Christmas and and not going to be going out to the little restaurant that I thought that we were going to go to just because I don't want to take my germs places and I don't feel the best. The first thing I need to do is actually pay up this eight dollars that I owe from last time so here we go uh, and I want to finish this so I can just feel like I have this Thanksgiving challenge out of the way. So there's my $8 in my IOU already done. And let's scratch these off. And these are from Ren with Mischief Managed Budgets. If you haven't already, Ren has been my my ally, my co-worker, all sorts of things as we've been planning for Black Friday. We've literally been talking about it for months and inspiring each other and motivating each other. The, I have never had more appreciation for re retail workers as I do right now. And especially my time with Murbox, um, we were given a notification that we couldn't take time off for the holidays. And then I have had, I've had to call out sick because I haven't been able to go in. And and I feel awful like I'm letting my coworkers down when I'm not feeling the best. So we have $12 on this one. All I have is a 20. So I'm gonna have to figure out if it's eight or less. Let's figure this one out. Three, okay. Maybe this, if this is five or less, otherwise I have to go and wrangle some change from somewhere, steal it from another savings challenge. It's a six. I need to find $3 somewhere. What are we gonna do? I'm just gonna call it good. <laughs> Sorry, Ren, I don't want, I, oh. The next Ren savings challenge that I do, here we go. I'm gonna make my soul feel better. I'm gonna owe $3. But let's see how much we've saved for this challenge. I am also going to scratch off all of these stickers uh, like I did with this one here. And I'm going to reuse these challenges next year because I don't believe that these challenges should be a one and done. I feel like they're so beautiful that I, I don't want to be the person who just uses something once and then is like, mm, I'm done with it. It, so much work has gone into creating them. These were a gift that I received from a dear budgeting friend. So I also wanna make sure that I, I think about my friend every time I look at those challenges. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that would have been $125. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna take this $3 from over here and we're gonna call it $125 and this is going to be amazing Christmas food. 
This next thing I want to do is my tip money. I know two weeks ago it was four dollars. I didn't work that much because I was in Florida. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it was obviously seven dollars last week. And I feel like this week is the week that we give to get, get to give ourselves another little sticker, which is super exciting. And oh my gosh, I'm so thankful for this savings fund because I feel like this has been one of my goals for 2024 was to finish out my emergency fund. And obviously I haven't been anywhere near it, but I have literally been plugging away at this 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we also have this here. So I, oh, we can't. No, that sucks. Okay, well, next time I just need $2 more to be able to add another little sticker. And I'm gonna have that next week. So I'm not upset about this at all. Just in the interest of not feeling the best, I am going to do $100 and I'm gonna put this in my Chili Days sticker. This is one of my savings challenges. And on the bottom of every page, it tells you how much you can save for. This whole entire book um, is choose your own amount. No, it's not. That's a lie. This whole entire book is $2,025. It does not say anywhere that this is a $2,025 book. It is just 2,025 total. I didn't want anyone to feel limited in what they could do or create. So I'm gonna put my little coffee mug over here. I have had so much fun, so much fun creating these books. And it is one of my favorite things to do is watch people like use the books and see how everyone does something differently. And it's been great because I have learned so much about how other people save. I don't know. I just feel like it's so much fun. Um, and I'm constantly trying to figure out like what I could do for a another sticker book. So if you guys have ideas that maybe you feel would be smart and well and that would be well received by an international audience um let me know in the comment section below this pumpkin reminds me that the pumpkins that i purchased are still out by my front door my the front of my house is a hodgepodge of christmas and thanksgiving and there is a an inflatable turkey that's uh, down the road from me and it's got a, a santa claus behind it and the turkey says to santa wait your turn old man so i kind of feel like at my house it is <laughs> the turkey doesn't want to wait the santa claus doesn't want to wait his turn Santa Claus is like, I'm here and pushing the turkey aside. I was able to get my Christmas stuff up, but I have lost a box. And if you have any idea where I put my box, it is my precious. I had a client many, many years ago who would give us a beautiful ornament every year. And I have this beautiful collection. I would never spend the money on these ornaments myself but this amazing collection of ornaments. And now I don't know where they are. I I organized and reorganized, and this is gonna go $100 into chili days, um, my ornaments last year and I put some of them, we have a tiny house. I put some of them under my bed and now I don't know where this box is. And it also has some of my sprays and it has my tree tree topper in it too. I literally don't know where it is and I'm so mad. We've got one more thing to do. So if you have any ideas where you think my <laughs> Christmas box is, let me know. I have $200 here, 100 for this week, 100 for last week. And it is because I don't wanna go into December and not give myself money. So I, I'm just, I'm gonna just go through this. I'm gonna do 40 in clothes and shoes. And uh, this is probably the worst way to budget. Don't take advice from me because I'm doing this without a plan and I'm just going to accept it for being what it is. Uh, and just, I'm, 
I'm budgeting. That's what I'm doing. And I have to tell myself I'm under the weather and guess what, it's okay. Family fun, look at that, was wiped out because I did take this money to Orlando from me and Emily. And one of these days when I have all the extra time in the world, I will show you the video that I have from Disney. We had so much fun, 50, 70, 85. The worst thing about the trip, honestly, is that I lost a week. I last week I literally said to someone wait uh Thanksgiving is next week I truly lost a week head to toe is empty because I had my hair appointment so I'm gonna give myself 40 I am so excited because not working in food services it means I can wear nail polish again <laughs> so there might be a back to work manicure I'm thinking that that's something that I would like to gift to myself household has 140 and you know what that can stay I, that does not need more money we are working on our last family pack of toilet paper I was talking with my friends about gifts that we would love in our older age like if someone was to gift me um, nice toilet paper and nice laundry detergent, uh, a five pack of uh, toothpaste, um, batteries, <laughs> I feel like that would be the perfect gift that I would legitimately, I would be over the moon to receive something like that just because it is uh, items that you don't really want to spend money on that you have to spend money on. I was given a gift of um, a bundle of three pairs of soft socks last year and I literally feel every time I put these socks on my feet like my feet are being hugged. So even a gift of soft socks to go along with the toilet paper. Oh, it's so beautiful. Future home. Let's give this a little 20. 2025 is going to be a year of change. I don't know where we're going to be living and I don't know what it's going to cost. So you're going to see some changes when it comes to saving for that. Fuel always has $30 in here. So Lizmobile, we have $20 left. I did last week. I literally priced and repriced tires. I know exactly what tires I need to get. I do need to schedule that appointment, um, especially because I think tonight the snow is really gonna come in. We had a little sprinkle of snow, but I think it's uh, really gonna hit and stick tonight. But if you're in the United States, um, actually, no, no matter where you are, it is a season of gratitude and gratefulness and I am so grateful for you. If you have supported me, liked my videos, send me a kind message. Truly, you are on my heart. I could not do this and I could not be consistent in this without you and your support and your encouragement. So from me, from Cam, who's asleep in that room, uh, we just wish you the happiest Thanksgiving and honestly, the happiest and merriest holiday season. And I'm looking forward to what we can all do together in 2025.